Hi Scorpio, uh, welcome to your July horoscope reading. Um, I've already shuffled the cards, laid them out, and read them. Um, <laughs> I, had, I had done this once before, recorded it once before, and it was very sloppy yesterday. So I'm redoing it, but I, during that one, I like could not stop smiling. Kind of true now, I'm feeling very like smiley, which is congruent with this. Lots of golds and greens is the first thing I, I noticed with this spread. Um, and just an energy of just, it's, it's, your, it's based on your perspective. Like your perspective is like, you just kind of feeling like, everything is kind of like happening for you and well for you also. Like you're very, in very high spirits, self-confident. Um, and if there's a day, a daydreaming quality to it also, and a dreamy quality and a, and a, like I said, it's very much your perspective, right? It's very much coming from within your own head. Like your, your creation of reality is very positive right now. Um, and you're not really, hyper concerned about what's going on um otherwise because you're so feeling so kind of self-confident you know um and especially as it relates to to um your home and whatnot and this is also a very emotional spread um a fiery energy um like i said lots of gold and green a very like in the success card here very like successful perspective and feeling that you're having this month um, and, a, and a forwardness due to that kind of fire energy right um, and this this feeling like you're succeeding and like the world is kind of for you and here for your taking sort of um, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and um, yeah, and there's there's definitely a bit of a, an element of like non-realism to this too, right? This is like I said twice already, very much your perspective, um, which is not necessarily a bad thing, right? It's good to have good a good perspective on things, um, <clears throat> but this is very much an energy of like what you're what you're bringing to the table, what you're kind of seeing in things, and also therefore what you're sort of reflecting, right? You're reflecting a lot of confidence and self-confidence and, and joy and whatnot and energy and fiery energy, fiery energy. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. Go ahead and clean these up. Um, lay out some more cards and try to give you some advice about this situation for, for July, this fiery, um, excited, daydreamy, dreamy energy that you're going to be having, Scorpio, in July, apparently. Okay, Scorpio, quick before my battery dies, um, let me tell you the advice that the cards are giving me to give you. Um, there's definitely indicated down here in this do, don't do section um, some energy of trying to, of manipulation, right, of trying to get people on your side of, of using your kind of your intellect and, and your physicality and your emotional mm, uh, dominance, right? If you have some emotional power over somebody, there's a there's an indication of some emotional manipulation, um, which might just come very easily to you if you're in a place of um, such high self-confidence right it might just be something that you're kind of automatically just you you almost sort of just do it because you're so kind of wrapped up in your own perspective right um and then the flip side of that is is the advice which is um interesting it's a little bit i'm getting some some sort of abstract energy so i'm just going to explain it and see if it makes sense um, of because you're, because you're in such a mind state of being able to really convince yourself of something, right? You're so self-confident that you can convince yourself of really anything that you, that you kind of have extra powers to be a little bit extra empathetic also, um, in addition to 
of, it's interesting because it's the opposite, right, of, be, of being a little non-empathetic and, and self, self, um, centered, right, and, and accidentally manipulating other people so that their, their viewpoints match yours or whatever. Um, if you really work at it to really use that energy instead to just walk in another person's shoes to see things from someone else's perspective, um, if you really just set your mind to it, right? If you just put, put that into your mind and make that your perspective, it should be a, a strong enough kind of perspective that you may be able to see things that you, you weren't able to necessarily see before and to feel them a little bit more strongly because it is a very like emotional time for you. Um, and then the other, the other piece of advice here is to use that use that sort of self-confidence and that momentum to um, help others either help others sort of achieve their goals or help help um, help a larger situation you know what I mean like use it be kind of altruistic almost with it um, what can you do to, to sort of be beautify things for people and help help people and um, make things better for somebody with this kind of enthusiasm, this kind of su success energy that you've got going on, right? Um, and to just be really conscious about it, be very conscious about what you're going to choose to choose to feel so strongly. If you're going to choose to feel strongly, um, or to or to see strongly another person's perspective, or are you going to choose to just feel strongly whatever you're already feeling and and sort of let that subconsciously control you right um you want to use your sort of these sort of strong emotions for good by directing them really really um carefully um and in a good way i don't i'm not seeing a huge like problem what i'm seeing is more that this this um this um manipulative energy is very much unconscious right it's very much just you you going out and you're being strong and you're being excited and it, it ends up being kind of a problem for maybe people in your area right um in your in your kind of path um so you want to be a little bit more conscious of it a little bit more conscious of your direction a little bit more um take a little bit more advantage of it right rather than just kind of like feeling really great and feeling really successful kind of harness that um that perspective of self-confidence to see what you can do with it right that's that's for the benefit of others and for the greater greater situation and whatever um and for the benefit of yourself also right um yeah okay that's it bye